Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Danielle and today we are continuing our discussion on petitions. If you haven't checked out the first video I did called um, Tips on Writing pe Petitions, I'm going to put the link to that video in the description. Now in that video I discussed um, what, how to um, word your petitions basically, what language to avoid, what language to use so you can um, write effective and powerful petitions. This video we are going to discuss the mechanics of writing a petition and the other videos to follow. Um, and we're going to start out, write it. Step one, what do you write your petition on? Honestly, the sky is the limit. You can write petitions on some of everything. So Okay, you can write your petition on a bar of soap and use that soap for whatever purpose. Cleansing, protecting, there's so many different fragrances out here that you can pick something that has the properties um, in it already. You know, you can get some coconut scented soap, that's cleansing, that's protecting. You can write your petition up there. And every time you take a bath or shower, boom, you're doing magic. Um, I write on cups. Like, I'll write affirmations or like words of power on my cup and then I'll drink from it so it's like I'm drinking my intentions it's like I'm making what it is I'm trying to manifest a part of me um, you can write on so many different things um, the traditional thing in hoodoo to write on is brown paper bag you can do that if you want you don't have to you can write on a regular sheet of notebook paper, you can write on computer paper, you can write on parchment paper, you can write on sticky notes. I would suggest that if you do write on a sticky note then to then reserve um, your sticky notes for um, attracting magic only because um, if you're trying to get rid of something you don't want it to stick to you so everything is uh, symbolic so I wouldn't use a sticky note for to write a petition for a cleanser spell or something like that. But sticky notes, you can use, you can write on checks, you can write on money, all kinds of money. You can write on coins, you can write on your actual paper money currency. You can write on hell notes, um, ancestor money, heaven notes, something I just heard of. <laughs> I've always heard of hell notes, but I hadn't heard of heaven notes before. Um, but checks, business cards, you can write on pictures, um, you can write on popsicle sticks. You can get your target to eat a popsicle and then write your petition on that popsicle stick. And so you got, now that popsicle stick is both um, a personal concern because they sucked on it. It's got their DNA on it. And um, it's also a petition because you can write your petition on it. Um, greeting cards. Like, you could be on some slick stuff, <laughs> and next time somebody at the office, you know, gets sick or has a baby or whatever, whenever there's an opportunity for you to pass out one of them green cards, go ahead and get you two. So you can pass out, give, you can pass both of them around, and then only give one of them to the person that everybody giving the cards to, so it won't be suspicious. Okay, why this person, they got everybody to sign a card, and you didn't get your card. Okay. Um, and then you keep one. And now you got everybody damn signature because a signature is a personal concern as well because your handwriting is a part of you. And so it's like it's got your essence in it. You wrote it. So it's yours. Um, and it's their name, you know. Um, what else can you write on? You can write on, of course, your candles. You can write on any kind of candle. Um, you can carve your petition into a freestanding candle, so those are your uh, your pillar candles, your chime candles, any candle that isn't inside of something, like a tea light, that's encased, um, and then your glass encased candles, any candle that's in a glass, but you can write on the glass, um, on your uh, or the glass candle, you can write on the aluminum of a tea light candle, that's what I do, you can also carve, um, into the wax on the top of a tea light or on the top of a glass encased candle. Um, 
Then, like I said, you can carve uh, your petition on your freestanding, your wax candle into the wax. Um, you can write on aluminum foil. Some people use aluminum foil um, as a mirror. So you can write on that. Um, some people will wrap their freezer spells in, a, in aluminum foil. So you can write on that aluminum foil. Um, some people burn their candles inside an aluminum plate for like fire safety. And so it won't run all over the place. Um, and you can write your petition right there on that aluminum plate and then burn your candle on top um, you can write on playing cards some people will pick a card like one of the king queen or jack cards to represent their target and then they'll write their petition on that playing card um, you can write on a plate like a white glass plate or whatever porcelain plate whatever it is <laughs> um, you want to make sure whatever you're writing with is non-toxic and can wash off but you would write your petition on that plate you want to get you a sponge new sponge that's dedicated to only um, using it for magical purposes or what have you and you could go so far as to color code your sponges, you know, because you can get a pack of sponges and you have purple and green and blue and all of those colors in there. So you could color code each um, sponge for different purposes. Or I would say at least um, have two sponges, one for attracting magic and one for uh, repelling or removal type of magic. Um, and so you would write your petition on this plate in, with something, like I said, that's non-toxic. And you would take your special sponge and wash that plate just with water not with any soap and water unless you, I mean you could if you're gonna be using the water for cleansing but I would just say just use the plain water and then you do whatever afterwards so you just wash your petition off into that water now the water is infused with your petition it's dissolved in there okay um, people feel that that's really potent like if they put something like if they put it, a petition inside a jar and it to completely dissolve they feel like that's even more powerful because it's like now the petition is released into everything and it's a part of everything so that's the same con same concept here with washing that petition off into the water just some plain water and you would take that water and you could cook with it you could put it in a bath uh, you could wash clothes with it put it in you know um, in the washing machine you could put it um, in a bucket when you wash your floor you, wherever water is needed or whatever you're trying to do a spell with some water um, the sky's the daggone limit and so uh, for anyone out there <laughs> for you guys that be worried you know y'all done missed out on so much spaghetti and lasagna it ain't even funny because you worried about getting got and the truth of the matter is if somebody really know what they're doing you're not gonna know and it's just just as simple as that okay because unless you then wrote a whole daggone novel on that plate the, and you uh, if you use enough water the water isn't going to change color so you, how would you know I mean, you could <laughs> freeze that water and everything. Now it's ice cubes. How would you know? Water changed color and looked different anyway when you, you freeze it. Like, I mean, really. Up your protection, up your cleansing, and um, up your psychic abilities. Work on developing your psychic abilities so you'll know instinctively, okay, I shouldn't eat that. I shouldn't eat nothing over at this whole house. <laughs> Let me go home. Um... Yeah, so you'll feel and you you gonna know when something's not right. So you gotta follow your instincts, develop your your psychic abilities, develop your discernment. Um, Cause really, you know, there are spells where you would take your bath water, and if you do a spiritual bath right, you always wash first, wash your physical dirt off, and then you would take your spiritual bath. And people uh, take a bath. 
and now they got that their essence in that water and cook rice with it. White rice. You wouldn't even know. You think it's safe. And it was boiled in water. Bath water. That's where that saying come from if you didn't know. Girl, I, you so fine, I drink your bath water. He's saying he will hoodoo himself you look so good. Um, but yeah. So, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> where there's a will, there's a way. So that's a, a, a real slick little spell. I, I like that. That's cute. Um, of writing petitions. Um, what else? I think I've talked about all that I can think of. Because really, I mean, there is no limit. If you can write on it, it can be a petition if you want it to be. It really can. Um, and I think I've given as many examples <laughs> as I intended to give so that is it you guys um we're gonna continue with petitions um like how to rip the paper um different shapes that people use to um shape the petition paper like you, some people will use a circle for like a love spell because you want the bond to be you know unbreakable or to symbolize that wedding ring or something like that um so different shapes I use. So we'll talk about that, um, like what to write with, how do you write the petition, all of that that's coming. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, you guys. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I see I've got some new subscribers. Welcome. And to all of you guys who have already been subscribed, thank you guys for you your continued uh, support. And stay tuned for more, alright? And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.